Hello there, and welcome to today's class. For today, we'll be discussing or perhaps solving a typical problem under differentiation using the concept of first principle method. So the concept says, find the y over the x or change in y over change in x um, for this man here. So how do you solve this? Using the concept of first principle. So we said from the idea of first principle, what do we know? We said to y, you had what the change in y to x, add changing x. So my first tax here, using first principle, we said to y, add change in y equal to this one on over root. I can see x here, of course, add change in x. I'm here. So the idea there is that to this y, add change in y. Next up, to this x, add change in x. Obviously, from here, I will take this y, other side here, I'll have that change in y is equal to 1 over root x plus change in x minus y. Why is it minus y? I just took plus y. Other side here becomes minus y. At this point, but... But y was equal to what's y? 1 over root x. I have 1 over root x as the value of y here. So, but y, what's y? 1 over root x. So, we are here. It means that anywhere I see y, I'll put in, or perhaps, substitute 1 over root x as the value for y. So, from here now, from this man here, change in y is now equal to 1 over root x plus change in x minus y. What's y? 1 over root x. So at this point here, I can see two fractions and a negative sign in between them. Now, look up. If I have a fraction a over b minus c over d, these are two fractions that b, I can see minus there. Either minus or plus. What comes to mind? Looking for what? LCM. Now, in this case now, I'm seeing two or common ten. So what's my LCM here? The two becomes what? My LCM. So I'll have that change in y is equal to what's the LCM? We said the two are B. Pick out this one first. That's root x into um, root s plus change in x. Look up, look up. If I divide um, root s plus change in x here, divided by this one, that's one AB. So left is what? Change in x. Change in x times one is what? Root x. Perhaps, sorry, if I divide this one by this, I'll have this root s left. Root s times 1 is what? Root x. Minus, minus. If root s count root s here, left is what? This man here. This man times 1 becomes um, root x plus change in x at this point. I'm here. Obviously, my next tax here is that, hang on, look up here. My next tax here is that I'll rationalize numerator, please. So, next tax here. Rationalize what the numerator. So from here, um, rationalize from the concept of rationalizing. We said I want to rationalize what numerator will be. I will multiply numerator and denominator by what the conjugate of what numerator, right? So it means that change in y is not equal to root x. I have my root x here. Minus um, into root s plus change in x. Right? All over what the root x into root x plus change in x. I'm here. Now we said to take to rationalize numerator, we said multiply numerator and what the denominator by what? By the conjugate of Denominator. So what's my conjugate here? Times what? Root x minus in sorry plus Abby. So plus here yeah? because I'm I'm rationalizing so take it to plus. That's the conjugate of this man here. Yeah? Into root x plus change in x. Multiply this man here too. That's root x plus into root x plus change in x. I'm here. Look up, please. Look up, please. Look up. Oh. If I have if I have a Look up, if I have a plus b, or perhaps a minus b in this case, 
my answer it becomes a squared minus b squared right so if i have a square of something minus c square of another thing i have this as my answer so it means that if i have a and a yeah, the same thing the same thing here yeah, i have plus on either plus or negative i have plus and minus look up this is the principle if i have the same thing here yeah, the same thing here yeah, and i'm having either plus or minus my answer because of the that first thing all squared minus that second thing all squared look up look up from this idea now i can inspect something from this one i can see root x and root x here true of us true i can see root x between x all, all, all roots and this one here true of us so this is this is like a this is like b huh so it means that if i want to solve this one now without without um, go, um going to stress i'll just say that change in y is equal to this is like a well how about the a squared so how about the root x all squared right minus because i'm saying minus and plus minus and plus because what's my b what's my b in this case that's what root x plus change in x true us all squared so it means that if i expand everything here i'll get back to this so shortcut please so all over what there i can see what root x into root x plus change in x um next up root x plus into root x plus change in x of course from here square cancel as square true of us true um this mark cancels is savvy so i have that change in y is equal to x minus into x plus change in x all over root x into root x plus change in x i have this into root x um next up plus root x plus change in x i have this look up please obviously what's my next tax here my next tax here is to what the use this minus what open the bracket so i'll have that change in y is equal to x at this x minus times x what minus x minus times plus plus in x what minus change in x true false true so all over i have my root x into um root x plus change in x next up into root x plus root x plus change in x look up please i'm here right so of course this man cancels is true of us true if i have a minus b that's sorry a minus a that's what zero plus a minus a that's zero one minus one zero a minus a zero similarly x minus x what the zero i'm left with what minus change in x all over what the um root x of course i have that change in y please is equal to root x into root x plus change in x next stop root x plus into sorry plus root what the x plus change in x i have this obviously we said at this point what do you do next after you have take look up look up please after you have actually what to i change x to x what's the next tax no before that exactly next tax is what divide through by what the change in x first tax after taking after, after taking y to the other side you when you solve solve so after something finish what's the next tax divide through by what the change in x so at this point here divide by change in x by changing x it means that um changing y this man here is equal to what the minus change in x all over what the um root x into please call for me uh-huh all right uh -huh. into root x next up plus root x plus what the changing x i am here I have this so we said divided by what check change in x here yeah. next up change in x true of us so it means that i have over one here yeah. abby so now to change this one to times so right there i will invert this become times i have this one to be what here yeah. i have my one to be here true of us of course from here this one cancels this so i'm ready about minus one abby so change in y over changing x which is the same thing as what 
the y over the x. Two of us. All right, it's now equal to minus one. Abi, all over what there? Root x into root x plus changing x into what there? Root x plus root x plus change in x. So uh, yeah, from here now, look up this. From here now, what do you do next? Is that the next step? Okay, look up this. From here now, look up. Oh. I've never changed in x. We said whenever you divide by changing x and you are still left with what? Changing x, you what the take limit of changing x what the zero. So I'll take limit of what changing x is what the zero. That is anyway changing x here, you put the zero. So then that's my change in y. But what the change in x is equal to minus one all about what the root x into root x plus zero. Next up into root x plus root x plus zero. Why right yeah? Let's go for an answer, please. My change in y over change in x is obviously what the minus one all over root x into root x. True. Right? Next up, because root x plus zero is what still root x. I have um into what the root x plus what the root x. I'm here. So from here now, look up. From this man here. Alright, from here, look up this. From here, I'll have that change in y over change in x is equal to, look up, minus 1. I have minus 1 all over, please look up, oh, root s times root x is what there? Is what? Root s times root x is what? Root x squared, Abby. So it means that I'll have what there? Root x squared. True or false? But I know that square cancel that square root, Abby. So from, from, from law, law of sword, if I have root A times root A, what's my answer there? A, yes. Because I'll have root A squared normally. Abi? So if that square cancel that square root, Abi, what's my answer here? A. So the idea is that if I'm having a root of something times root of that, it's that same thing. What's the answer? That thing. So my idea is that, is that instead of writing this one, if I have root X times root X, if I have root X times root X, what's my answer there? x so my side becomes x next up i have a, a bracket here abby so a bracket look up oh, root s plus root s is what yes. two root x if i have a plus a that's what two a so if i have root a root s plus root s, that's what the two root x so it becomes two root x true or false look up please from here Changing y by changing x is not equal to minus 1 on all the x. Look up, look up, look up. I have 2 in the middle of what? Alphabet. What does it you do first? You we'll bring out what? The number outside before the, the alphabet. So it means that it's correct, but not proper, please. So pick up the number first. I have 2. Next up, I can see what the x times what? Root x. True or false? Now, from indices, look up. From the idea of indices, from what you know, if I have um, x to the power 3 times x to the power 4, what happened in this case? I'll add the power, right? They are the same, I'll be pick out 1 and what? Add the power, 3 plus 4. What's x, please? To power 7, I'll be. I apply this idea here. It means that if I have um, x times root x, I'll have that change in y over change in x is equal to minus 1 all over.